So if you're new to using GitHub or Bitbucket, you might be facing some issues cloning a repository, which may look something like this. So let's learn how to get rid of this problem. So if you're ready, let's begin. So when we start programming, we are not aware of all the details that we want to know while sharing the code. And a few members of the society that you have might share code with you with a GitHub repository link. And if you don't know how to clone it, you might face this issue. So when you try to clone a GitHub repository, so you will be having a command like git clone space the repository link. And if you are new to this, then you will be facing a problem like git is not recognized as an internal or external command, operable program or bash file. So currently Windows is not able to detect what this command git is. So we have to make him understand or make Windows understand that this is something that will help us clone the code that we want. So how to do this? Let's install git bash. So if you wish to install git bash, then you just have to go to Google and you have to type git bash. And here you will find the downloads for git link. So just click on this. So this is the official website of Git. So you will be finding here like git-scm.com slash downloads. And here you will be able to find the appropriate Git bash download link for your operating system that you're going to use, that you're currently using, isn't it? So here we are using Windows. So we have the latest stable version that we have here. So this is the one 2.29.2 for Windows. So if you can just click here, it will download you the file that you need or else you can go here or else you can click here and you can download the version that you want. Either it can be a 32 bit or it can be a 64 bit. But based on the system's requirement, if you click on the links, it will automatically download the file for you. So when I made the video of how to install facial recognition on Windows, I got a lot of comments that they are not able to clone the repositories because they were facing this issue. Git is not recognized as an internal or external command. So I thought of making this video and I wanted to explain you guys like how you can clone the repositories that we have or any repository that you want. So you can click on next. You can just follow the simple process that we have. You can choose the program files directory that we have for C drive. And you need at least 258 MB of free disk space that I think everyone will have. So if you already have installed Git before, then it'll ask you that, yes, this folder already exists. Do you want to install to that folder anyway? then you can just click on yes or if you want to make a fresh install then you can just append or you can just type a new path that you want and you can just install it so i'll just give it a new name github and i'll just click next so there are additional settings that you can also perform like check daily for git for windows update or you can use a true type font in all console windows so i can just check this you can associate shell files that you want to run with bash you want to associate .git configurations with the default text editor, you can do that. And basic GUI here and bash. So if you want to have a desktop icon also, you can do that. But we are not going to do this. So we'll just click on next. And uh, click on next again. And this setting is not needed until and unless you are using Vim. Let git decide. We'll keep the existing setting, the default setting. And then just click on next and choose a recommended one. We don't want to mess it around. So just click on next, use open SSH, then just follow the default set path. That's it. So I'll just uncheck this one. I don't want to read any released notes. Just click on finish. And we have this terminal opened. So I'll just close it and I'll just start it again. This is the new Windows terminal. You can just click here and you can just choose the command prompt because most of the people get confused between partial and command prompt. So please stick to the basics. Okay, so now we'll go to CD desktop. Here I can just create a directory, new clone, new clone. So the folder is created now. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to clone the repository, right? So let's suppose someone has sent you a git clone link. 
or they have shared the site or the url that you can use to clone the repository so let's suppose i am going to download or i am going to clone my own repository that i have here so once you log into any github repository you will be finding something uh, like a button here like code so this is the place where you can find the ways to actually clone your repositories so just click on this and there are three methods available to us there's the new one that we have github cli ssh and https so we need https right now so there's the clone link and if you just click on the clipboard icon you can just copy this so it has already been copied you have to just click it once and then you can just come back here on the terminal and you can just type git clone and just paste the url that's it you don't have to do anything and if everything has worked fine and if you have installed git bash properly then it should work yes it is now cloning your repository so now once the code is completely cloned you can go back to the folder where you have actually cloned it so i have cloned it in desktop new clone so i'll go i'll just go to the folder path i'll just open it yeah so this is the folder where i have cloned the repository and once you've cloned it it will be exactly with the folder name that is present in the clone repository itself so if i go back and i'll show you so this is the name of the repository and here also you'll find the same name same folder okay just open this and this is the code that you have so if let's suppose i want to make some changes right now currently if you want to see what is the branch that the current repository that you have cloned is so just do git branch sorry you can just uh, cd code then you can just do it you have to be inside the cloned repository where you have actually cloned it and inside that you can run the git commands otherwise it will tell you this error not a git repository dot git okay so it, it is not able to find the dot git file here so mostly what we do is if we are creating a git repository on our own we just do a git in it but we are not going to do this here we have already cloned the repository so what you're going to do if i just do a dir you'll be able to see the files here and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to do a git branch okay so currently the branch that i have here is master so let's suppose i want to see the list of all the branches branch git branch the command is git branch iphone iphone all and these are all the remote branches that i have so currently it is in master so if suppose there is a, a way for us to create a new branch i can just do it as well so how to do that i can just do git checkout hyphen b it is to tell git that we are going to create a new branch so i'll give it developer so this is the new branch that i'm going to create and just hit enter so now we have a new branch that we have created switch to new branch developer so once you've created it if you just list down all the branches now you will see there are two branches here so one was master the new one that we created is developer so now it is automatically switched to that branch so whenever you check out with a particular branch name it does not exist and if you have the extension of hyphen b it will create the branch and it will switch to that new branch as well so most of the times it is advisable not to make changes to the master branch it will be the golden branch that we have where we only push code that is working 100 percent isn't it so if i had to add any new features to the code then i'll just do it in the developer branch so this is the developer branch code that i have right now because i have already checked out so this is the branch that i have i'll just do a git branch to confirm to you once again that yes the star that you see in the green it shows that and it indicates that it is currently in the developer branch so now if suppose i'll just open one file so this is the atom id that we have here and this is the code that is currently in the developer branch and if suppose i want to add any comments so this is a test comment okay so this is the test comment that i have added and i'll just save it by pressing ctrl s and i can just close it so now there is a change in my developer branch so how do i see it i'll just do a git diff and it will tell me that at exactly this line i have a test comment that is the additional line that has been added and it's in the file recognize slash 
engine.py. So that's what it is trying to tell me, isn't it? So now what I'm going to do is there are some additional changes that have been made. So don't worry about that. Focus on this one. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to commit this. So before doing that, you need to just check the git status. So it is now telling that we have a modified file. So that is recognize slash engine.py. And there are two stages for commit. Okay, so first I have to add this file and then I can add a commit message that I want, git commit hyphen a. And or else I can just discard the changes by doing a git restore and the file name. So my changes will get restored and it will not be visible again. Okay, so that is a bit risky for us to actually take a decision on that. So let's suppose I want to just add that change and I want to commit it. So I'll just do git add and I'll do recognize slash and I'll add the path engine.py. Okay. So once you've done this, you can just hit enter and to check whether the changes have been successfully done or not, you just need to do git status again. Yes, it has been modified. And if you see this in the green color, then it means that yes, the changes are done. So once we have checked the status here, so if you just type git commit, commit hyphen a, it means that it is going to add that change. And if suppose you append a m here, then it is going to append the message as well. So that is the one that we are trying to append. And commit messages are really important because you are not the only one who is going to use the code and it is for someone else also to reference. So please make sure that you add valuable comments and readable comments by others to actually understand that and what the changes have been made as a part of the commit. Okay, so I'll just add a meaningful comment now. So I will just add like uh, added a new test comment okay so this is my message this is my git commit command hyphen am and i'll just hit enter so now that you have committed the code you're getting the reference for that so there's the commit id that we have one file change two insertions one deletion not a problem okay so now you can just do a git status again you will see no change found and uh, nothing to commit working clean Okay, working tree clean. So once you have committed everything, your changes have been committed. The only thing you need to remember is once you have committed the changes, they stay in your local repository. So you need to push the changes, isn't it? So just do a git push and hit enter. So now it is asking that your current branch developer has no upstream branch because there is no branch that was already existing in the repository and we have created a new branch. So we have to set the upstream for this. So don't worry about all these things right now. I'll create a separate video for this. So for now, just use this command, git push hyphen hyphen set upstream origin developer. And it might ask you for the credentials if you are not the owner of the repository. So it is telling you to sign up now or sign in if you are currently not having GitHub, but if you are using GitHub and if it is your and if it is your repository, you can just sign in. Now you can authorize this and authentication succeeded. So once it is done, it will be pushed. That's it. So now what it is telling is create a pull request for developer on GitHub by visiting this. You can create a pull request for your branch. And now we will be able to see the branch in the repository. So just refresh this in the repository that you have. And now it is showing two branches. This is master, this is developer. And here as well, if I want to create a pull request to the master because I want to merge my code, isn't it? So I'll just do a compare and pull request, compare with developer. So this is the change that I have here and I can create the pull request. And I can actually assign someone to actually review this. But for now, I'll just create the pull request Okay, so it is telling me that no reviews, at least one approval is pending. So as I am the only one who is basically using this, so I can just merge the pull request and, and I can just use my administrative privileges to merge this pull request. So just confirm merge. Yeah, so pull request has been successfully merged and closed. So now if I go back to the code and if I just go back to the master branch that I have and, and I'll just open recognize and I'll just click on engine.py, I should be able to see the comment here. Yeah, so that's it. That's it. It's as simple as you can get. I just wanted to show you like how to get rid of this error, but 
I felt I can just spread some more information that I have with me. So even if you're using any GitHub repository or Bitbucket repository, if you want to clone it with Git, that is the same process that we have. And there are so many other things that we have for Git and uh, how to use it and what are the operations that you can perform with Git. And there is a new video that is coming along for completely for Git. And there will be a single video where I'll explain how you can clone your repositories, how you can git rebase, how to create cherry pick commits and all the other things that are really important for a developer who is starting new with GitHub. So please make sure that you subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. And if you want to be friends, we can be friends on Instagram. Just follow me on the Instagram handle that I have for Apollo that's mentioned in the description as well. So until next time, stay safe. It's Pytholic signing off.